another thing that is really important is having enough coverage enough coverage is shoot enough so that when you're editing you have enough footage to choose from so one mistake i've seen in some videos is that we'll just put the camera in one place and tell people to do what he wants them to do then say okay that's enough and sometimes it's good depending on how you've done it but usually it's better to now bring in some other shots like close-ups and medium shots so that they help sell the story so instead of giving people just one one shot try to come close and bring the audience closer to the to the story bringing the close-up shots uh, maybe show the facial expressions if it is sadness because it's hard to know to show sadness when someone is far get close-ups of their faces get close-ups of their legs as they're walking get close-ups of whatever they are doing so that when you're editing you have enough data you have enough footage that will keep your video from becoming boring so another thing i'll talk about is color correction honestly uh, there are some people who still think that you can do everything in camera yeah it is yeah you can do it if you wish but just know that it's not right every video you see there was color corrected and it was color graded it's not that the footage was bad no here is something that people always get wrong they think that doing color to a video is because the footage was not good enough no color grading is to help emphasize your story is to bring people to the story when you see something in black and white it doesn't mean that that the people who are there who are seeing everything in black and white but there's a certain way you connect to watching a video that is in black and white and when a director chooses to to use maybe let's say that black and white it's not because he didn't like the colors around but he's just trying to give that video a mood a certain feeling so color sparks uh, moods in us different moods so that's why maybe if you're watching even movies you see that they are trying to give certain countries certain colors and for sure when you're watching the videos even just by color you just know this is mexico this is america this is china this is india this is german and this is africa <laughs> so think wisely about the colors you give to your videos think about the mood of the song it's not about everything being so colorful so saturated the way most directors want their videos to look but it was also about how you want the people to feel when they're looking at the video that you have made depending also on the message that the artist put in the song so another thing that i noticed was the depth of field which most uh, directors especially when we are starting out we don't know where it comes from actually it's just accidental the secret is is found in the aperture of the camera or of that lens that you're using in particular lenses with a nice depth of field have an aperture as low as 1.2 1.8 but most lenses like the one i always use uh, starts at four if you understand the concept of aperture how aperture works you will know how you know how easy it is to get that depth of field and what i can say is that depth of field works best in shots where you know your character won't be moving a lot so you be careful when you're looking out for depth of field if it is a if it is a song that requires a lot of movement make sure your aperture is is in, a, is in high numbers for example my less moves from 4 to 22 higher numbers won't give me depth of field depth of field helps you to focus on certain things that you want your viewers to also focus on you you are showing your viewers you're directing your viewers eyes where you want them and you also kind of reduce the distraction around and you want your viewers to focus on what you're actually showing them is the end of the person.